Romans 4:20 through 25 He Abraham staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief but was strong in faith giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able to perform and therefore it was imputed to him for righteousness now it was not written for his sake alone that it was imputed to him but for us also to whom it shall be imputed if we believe on him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification let's see what was written about Abraham shall we it says these things were written for our sakes so it's worth a study Abraham is first seen in Genesis 11:26. He is introduced as Abraham, the brother of Nahor and Haran, and the uncle of Lot. He and his wife Sarai lived in Ur of the Chaldees. God's first recorded command to him is found in Genesis 12one through 3 Now the Lord said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Verses 4 and 5 give us Abram's response. So Abram departed as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. And Abram took Sarai his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their substance that they had gathered, and the souls that they had gotten in Haran, and they went forth to go into the land of Canaan, and into the land of Canaan they came. Notice, no arguing, no hesitating, no grumbling, no statements like, Oh no, I must be losing my mind, I'm hearing voices. No, he just gathers his stuff and those he loves most and leaves. When was the last time God told you to do something and you just obeyed? Too often, we don't really want to do what he asks, and we argue with him. Other times it's easier to put it off, thinking we can do it at a more convenient time. But that more convenient time just never comes. Then we find ourselves angry, frustrated, beaten down, and bound up. And we never make the connection that our disobedience has cost us the blessing of God in our life. Have another look at the promise here. Genesis 12, 1-3 Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Notice the promise of blessing. It is contingent on the obedience to the command. If you feel that you have lost the blessing of God, take an inventory of your obedience to His Word, the Bible, and His personal commands to you. There are other possible reasons for the problems you face, but if you look through the Bible, you will be hard-pressed to find a blessing or a promise from God that is not contingent on the obedience of the person or people involved. Abraham certainly knew it would be hard, but he set his sights on the promise God gave him instead of the hardships he would face. That is why he was able to obey God and leave. We all need to learn to do the same. You can start with the promise of eternal life that God promises to those who put their trust in him through Jesus. If you are ready to take hold of that, then you can start with this simple little prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, and that you rose again the third day. Please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you. 
So I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Get a Bible and start reading it to learn more of his will so you can live out his holiness in your life. If you are interested in understanding the story of Jesus' life better, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie. You can check it out at any of these websites, also included in the video description. Thank you for watching. May you reap the blessings of obeying God.